There are things people will see you do and they can mistake in your activity to mean your purpose. And that's why I said that many people think their careers, their jobs, is truly their purpose and it is not. And that's why you have to go to God. Uh, sometimes we don't like going to God to ask, Lord, what did you bring me here to do? And sometimes God may just give you an assignment and that is what God wants you to do. And you must do it faithfully because that is your reward. That is where God will bless you. So let's look at this carefully. Now, so, so who do men say, I am? And there were a lot of responses. There are a lot of responses. What people think. There is no accuracy in what people think about you. Really, people can say a lot of things because they can only say what they know, what they've been exposed to. If you had asked someone 10 years ago, or probably 15 years ago, and asked them, who is this boy? The best they would say, oh, it's a drama, because I used to play drums in my church. Who is Reverend Simon Abu? Oh, someone said, oh, I know, he's a bass guitarist. Okay. Another person would say, oh, he's a keyboardist. Someone say, ah, he, he's a pastor. Someone say, oh, he's a prophet. Someone say, oh, he's my friend. I was like, oh, he's my, he's my younger brother. Oh, he's my son. But playing those instruments are my gifts. They don't, they are not my purpose. This is my calling. This is my purpose. You don't have too many purposes. You have this one purpose. Now, that purpose can be in different facets, but it doesn't mean you have a lot of purpose. You have this one purpose on this earth. Jesus said, this one thing I came. That what Paul said, I have overlooked everything, and this one thing I... So actually, it is when you understand your purpose, then you begin to pursue it. Paul was called to the Gentiles. And so Paul did what God asked him to do. He preached to the Gentiles. So your purpose really, and before Paul became a preacher, he was a lawyer. He was a tent maker. Can you see that? Peter was a fisherman. Now, Jesus called him. And what did he call? He said, I will make the fishes of men. Ultimately, the plan of God for everyone on this earth is for the big agenda of God for all men to be saved. So if you're a doctor, ultimately, your purpose is that all men will be saved. And whatever you are going to do in pursuance to that, you must be directly informed by God to know that this is my purpose. The reason why God is patient, despite the wickedness in this world is because he wants all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of his dear son so the plan of god is for all men to be saved if that is god's plan then god has something for you in this plan in the past we saw that paul said i planted and apollos watered when we're looking at what is your life built on, it's on my YouTube, you can look at it. Someone plant, someone waters, someone is a gardener, someone is a harvester. All of these people come to play a part for one thing, one purpose. And that is the purpose we're all here for. So as I'm doing this teaching, another person is doing another thing. But you must also play your role. And we belong to a community that we must focus on whatever needs to be done in the community. So your purpose is not actually your career. Your career is what you want to do, but your purpose is what God wants you to do.